Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Uh, this is something I've been seeing on the internet a lot. It's the Lichtenberg uh, wood burning process. And as you know, I like to do a lot of things with 2x4s and 2x3s with my toy trucks. So I decided to try this out and it's really cool. So these are some of the designs that I've done. And when I say that my designs, basically when you put the probes on either end, you never know what you're going to get. So I've got the uh, microwave transformer like they've suggested online. And you can also do this with the uh, oil burner transformer. And I'm definitely going to try that next. Uh, but with the process that I'm going to do today, which I'm going to show you, it's going to be using the microwave transformer. So let's get started. So what people have been using is the microwave transformer. All right. And basically you want your input. Okay. That doesn't change. The 110 volts coming in. All right, and then on the outside, you just have to put it on the top part of the uh, transformer and then the ground and just cap these off. And there's other people out there doing really nice jobs on how to uh, put these together. All I'm gonna show you is how it's actually working with, uh, with the two by four. So you take your solution, all right, it's water and baking soda, a cup of water, or a teaspoon of baking soda, and you're basically just gonna kind of paint that on and let it soak in for a couple of minutes. And what's gonna happen where this is kind of running off the edge a little bit, right down in here, is that you're gonna get kind of an interesting effect. And what will happen, as you can see right here, is it kind of ran over the edge. I, I did like a router on this one, I wanted to try it. So that may what happen here, is some of the, some of the uh, uh, burn might go down over, which is okay. So I'm going to let that set for just a little bit, and then we're going to come back and we're going to put our probes on uh, and go from there. All right, I think we're ready to give this a try. Just let that set for about a minute. And uh, make sure that you have everything unplugged before you attempt this. So I'm just going to set that one right there. I'm going to set that one right there. This is what I've been finding that's been working good with the other ones. I turned the studio lights out just so you can really get a, an idea of what's going on and, and uh, get a better effect. All right, and step away and go ahead and plug it in. So I've unplugged it, and I'm going to go ahead and remove my terminals, and that looks pretty good. Now, it seems like some people are just taking a piece of sandpaper and they're sanding this down, but what I have found to work pretty good, but it takes a little bit more time, is I take and I wash this off with water, and then I can kind of see what's going on, and then let it dry, then go ahead and put my polyurethane on it. Other people are doing a lot of different things, but I just, you know, I'm kind of learning this, and uh, I'm finding that... The, the way I do it, they come out pretty good. You know, just, just like this one right here. So I'm pretty happy with it. So, all right, let's go ahead and clean this off and uh, we'll continue on. So, as you can see, after I washed it out with the water, it kind of pulls some of the detail out. So, I'm just using the fast dry Minwax uh, polyurethane. You know I mean, you, uh, people are using a lot of different things. So, let's go ahead and put a little bit on there. go I just put a second coat of polyurethane on it come out really nice as you can see I uh, went ahead and put a couple of eye hooks in it with a chain so I can hang it up on my wall uh, this is a lot of fun it's kind of addicting and they've said that it is on the internet and uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I have and uh, thanks an awful lot for watching mm -hmm.